Hello folks, this has gone spy. The spy will come to you live for Star Wars Knights for Republic, the Sith Lords. And now from the last episode, uh, there's a couple of things to be that's been going on, especially what we have mm, learned from Vizius. But right now we're going to go to the west side of the Kunda Plains so that we can be able to see uh, which what's been going on, the tracking, so the trails that the, the leader of the settlers had been, had discovered where Master Brogue could be at. Is she said, she mentioned something about him being in the old Jedi Academy on Clive Ruins. So we're just going to be able to check it out at this moment. This must be uh, the scavengers camping site. You a new scavenger? Or one of those Kunda cantina rats coming here to complain? Well, technically I'm a salvager. Well, we don't need another one. Look around this camp. We got the salvaging more than covered. I'm gonna give you some advice. Turn back. There's nothing you're gonna find. What exactly don't you think I will not be able to find anything? Because anything valuable in the ruins was carted away months ago. The only salvagers left are either desperate, ornery, or not right in the head. And while you look dirty enough to be here, I don't think you're any of those things. So go back to Kunda. I got a business to be in this area of Kunda. There's got to be something that's left in the Jedi Enclave. The only thing left is the sub-level. And that's crawling with leg wrecks. And those things are smarter than half the salvagers here. Though that don't say much. And don't be asking any pesky questions. You're new, and no one is going to help you out. Why won't anybody be able to be willing to help us? Because there isn't enough salvage to share with the people already here. And a hungry newcomer is about as welcome as a diuretic hut. What do you do around here, then? I've been here the longest, and I'll be here last. I buy Jedi salvage from the ruins. Slow business now, but I get by. Who did you sell it to? Sometimes I sell them to visitors like yourself. Besides, that's none of your flaming business. If there are our Jedi art artifacts that you got in your storage, then it is my business. So what do you have for sale? You should have let me know you're a customer instead of letting me think you're some disease-ridden salvager. Let me show you what I got. Hmm, interesting. That's a nice looking robe. I've seen these types of crystals before to be enhancements for the lightsabers. Definitely going to need some lens. to our delightful salvager camp. We are honored. You come bringing your credits and curiosity? Credits of can and curiosity? Are you selling something? I might add transparent to you. Apparently this is so. I am Rylon, known throughout this camp for the many artifacts of value that I've uncovered. An expert, this is certain. A question I pose to you, Traveler. Do you wish to buy one of the most elusive of all Jedi artifacts? Powerful Jedi holocron. You found a holocron? I'm impressed. Someone like you was able to manage to find something that rare. You flatter me, Traveler. It was a good day when I found this holocron. But you were lucky, for I was up to you for a low price. I 
ask a mere 1,000 credits for this rare find. This is not a matter of negotiation. We should buy it quickly before others come. Kind of inspect the Holocron at least. Uh, maybe it's broken. Uh, I assure you it isn't. I will show it to you presently. Well, as you can see, it is in fine shape. A real bargain at a mere 1,000 credits. That is a remarkable fake, but it's not even worth the time you wasted describing it, trying to rip it off on someone's credits. How, how'd you know? I never unload this cursed thing. This isn't my fault. You can't blame me. How in the hell is that it's not your fault? You stole this? And tried to fake it off, ripping someone's credits off? This forgery has passed through several hands in this camp. I am merely the latest victim. I wish to abandon this dung heap. So you didn't make this? No, of course not. Another salvager sold it to me. He bought it from another one before him. There were no more salvagers incidents like this would come. I have now they're fuelless and I'm stuck with this garbage. There's no way I can make it home to my family and children. I doubt you even have a wife. You with all your observations. I'm not gonna talk to you about the Holocron anymore. So, what should we talk about? What can you tell me about the planet of Dantooine? There's too much to see around here. The planet is very lightly populated by settlers, mercenaries, and us. What are the settlers like? They want nothing to do with us. The only thing they want is part of our profits. Now that salvaging is running out, I doubt they will tolerate our presence much longer. What are the mercenaries uh, doing on Dantooine? There haven't been much uh, mercenaries on Dantooine since during the Jedi Civil War. When they're looking for work, they mainly bother the settlers. Then what can you tell me about the salvagers in this part of the region? They come from many different planets, drawn to the rumors of fortune. I believe the early salvagers did make some credits, but latecomers like myself rarely find anything. Early salvagers said that the ruins were mostly empty to begin with. Many think the administrator didn't allow us to salvage until the third people were done with it. Very well, I have to go. Probably should I um, search for any signs of any other uh, salvagers camping sites? Mm -hmm. I know this part of the area. We're definitely close to the uh, enclave. I have never been ventured to be out in this kind of opening before. Anything about what, what the leader and what the commander of the militia said is true. Venus! That's interesting. A blaster rifle with deflector. Hmm. Can be able to be useful against a single opponent with a blaster, but not against many opponents with blasters before. Oh well. Have a shock? And again?
No map hacks. Well, that's not good. Let's keep moving. Yeah, I definitely remember this path too well. Huh, that was right. There are some more scavengers. But these are not definitely scavengers. I think we must be in a mercenary camp. Smells like another salvager has come to our camp. Vacate, mud liquor. Don't make me tell you again. Ease off, Nalik. There's better sport than this one. I don't need help to take out a mud liquor. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Okay, asshole. Before you embarrass yourself and get accidentally killed on the spot, you should do what your friend said. I'm definitely no scavenger, no matter what you think my appearance may look to you. I'm a warrior, like yourself. I'm a real soldier, and you're just a trainee with a dart gun. Don't you dare compare yourself to me. Look, I have no problem with you. But I have a problem with you. Blame an outsider taking away our work? This is mercenary territory. We don't want anyone getting in our way. We're the real boss on this planet, so stand clear of us. Really? I heard from the administrator herself that she runs the planet. Nine low-life mercenaries with empty words of bad talk trash shit talking. You serious? The settlers are no more than herd beasts. Her handful of militia don't run this place. We do. Hmm. You may be as dumb as you look, as dumb as your empty words, if you really wish to fight me. What? I'm a veteran of the Jedi Civil War. I fought dozens of battle-trained Republic soldiers. You're going to die. <laughs> Buddy. You've never fought someone like me before. You've given me all the excuse I need, outsider. You're dead now. <laughs> Some people never learn. So uncivilized. You've wandered into the wrong camp. You got the look of a warrior, and we got all the blasters we need. If you're looking for work too, just take a trip spaceward. We don't need any more competition. Got it? I get it, but I'm not here to look for work. I'm here for to ask some questions from this mercenary camp. Then maybe we can get along just fine. I heard you've been making some trouble for the settlers. Is that true? What if we do? They're practically begging to be pushed around. You've seen them, right? They're weak. <laughs> Buddy, you don't even know the meaning of word weak if you have read the dictionary history book. Now, their skills may not be a lie solely in warfare. This isn't exactly a failing. You sound like a flaming Jedi. I didn't just mean their weapons. I meant their character. They're very quick to blame everyone but themselves for their problems. So the galaxy has dealt them a bad hand. They should ante up and get back in the game. The administrator is different. Then what do you think about Tatooine if you really do not like this place? It's just another spaceport to me. We've been here too long for my tastes. And the settlers. So why choose the Tatooine as your base if you really do not like the people that lives here? We have to live somewhere. Something those settlers don't seem to understand. That flaming administrator and her cat hound Zeron can't keep their noses out of our business. There's a natural order to things that they just don't seem to get. They'll learn. What are you planning to do? Just make sure these settlers know their place. The Republic isn't going to send a single trainee to help this planet. What about the settlers? It's gallsy to think we fought wars to protect Giska like them. They don't do anything to help themselves. And they don't know how to how to take responsibility. They're on their own. And either they should start working and stop whining, or else they're in for a tough ride. 
So what do you think of the administrator, if you think less of her? She's got spirit, but she seems to focus most of her effort on trying to get us off this planet. Serena has to learn that we aren't moving. Then we can talk about something else then. I have time to kill. And talking about dancing wings just irritates me. What can you tell me about the mercenaries of this camp? Most of us are veterans of the Jedi Civil War. Some even fought in the Mandalorian Wars. A lot of soldiers have been looking for a place in the galaxy. The really skilled usually wind up here. Then who is your leader? A sentient by the name of Asgul. He was an elite Asgul? trooper from Malak during the Jedi Civil War. He knows how to wage war. I've heard this name before from, from Saron and from the Administrator. But him being an elite trooper that used to work with Malak. That's quite a leader that you got going on there. So why exactly have you been a lineup to do a job? We had a contract with the Republic doing some work in the Outer Rim. But they scaled back. We were some of the casualties. Now the Republic isn't hiring anymore. I hear they have no credits. So what do you do between your jobs and your hobbies? We find ways to divert ourselves. A lot of us find odd jobs. There are many more mercs around than what you see on Tatooine. We're spread out. And let's talk about something else. I have time to kill. I'll be going now. Thank you for answering some questions. This Oscar character gets under my skin. It's no wonder that I have that kind of sensation. If this man really does who he used to work with, Malik, it's a wonder how he was able to survive since the Jedi Civil War from the last series. I never, Jedi Revan, uh, Jedi Revan has gone spy, never met the guy, but if he did, he would have been dead. Well, Oscar would have been dead. Can't wait to meet this guy. Now this is the area which we, which the Jedi Enclave would be at. So let's be careful. Oh my God. Now look what have you done to this place? This place was beautiful. It was untainted by war and it wasn't exactly on battlegrounds. The settlers that used to live in Enclave under the protection of the Jedi were happy. It's not my fault. We'll make everything right again. But for now, we need to continue onward. The administrator told us uh, that uh, Master Vrog had went to the Enclave for reasons that is unknown to her. We'll be able to find out the reason soon enough, but first...
survey time. Uh, moving as fast before I even throw a grenade. Join this fight. I'm gone. this. What the? How did that happen? No choice. a heavy fight. See if this door can be able to be open. The damage uh, that's been done by Malik uh, is um, has damaged the exterior car making in a cave in in this side of the structure of the enclave. In other words, we're not going to be able to get through this for the time being. Maybe the other side of the enclave will be able to be open to us.
Hmm. More scavengers. Who are we missing? Where one off? We're missing Joran. I don't see Joran. That runt of a cat hound, he's the one with the backpack. Did anybody grab anything from the room? Anybody? What do you want? What's the problem? We were just heading to the ruins of the Enclave. I managed to get this sad lot of salvagers to work together. Then we get two rooms into the sub-level, and we get swarmed by Labrex. And even then we fight our way out. But of course, the only one that managed to grab the salvage is still in there. I don't even know why I bothered. What can you tell me about the lake roots of this uh, level? Nothing. Find out for yourself. I'm not interested in training the competition. Now, if you don't mind, we're going someplace you can't eavesdrop on us and get down to our business. Hmm. Looks like they're willing to want to abandon their own man behind. Where will we come from? Especially in a place like this, we don't uh, leave people behind. Especially to uh, a threat of a danger. If we find him, we'll save him. Anne's going to be coming now with us on this mission. And Bador is going to be coming along too. here after what we just been through so right now i'm going to get put a stop here and talk to these messages folks so this has gone spy the spy sign off for now